a luxury trip for two in Orlando? Let's do this. Hey everybody, it's Haley with HaleyWithAFlare.com and I am back for a News Friday series. I teased this a little bit on Monday with my new top five and five travel news tip series. But Fridays for the month of May and possibly the foreseeable future are going to include how to travel more for less for all of you viewers. So what I'm going to do with this series is I'm going to take people who respond to my Instagram stories or direct message or leave comments and I'm going to help them find the best value for travel for an upcoming trip. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to follow me over here on social media. I have different types of travel and hotel related content on all of my different platforms from Instagram to TikTok to here on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed on everything so that you don't miss anything. So today we're gonna to be talking about a trip for Kitty Cat Learns on Instagram. She messaged me, said that she was looking for a week long trip either at the end of July, beginning of August for two people in Orlando. Now I did ask her if she wanted to do theme parks and she said no, just something relaxing. So I did a little digging, her budget was $3,000 and I came up with a couple good budget options I think. A more luxury style hotel in the Orlando area. I picked the JW Marriott. This is the JW Grand Lakes Orlando. This beautiful full service hotel has a gorgeous pool area with small water park and lazy river. There is no shortage of things to do here. You also get access to the Ritz Carlton pool and spa next door. The rooms are beautifully appointed and have a variety of standard rooms all the way up to beautiful suites and most of the rooms have balconies as well with gorgeous views. There are five different restaurants and a Starbucks on the JW Marriott property, but you also get access, like I said earlier, to the spa and restaurants at the Ritz Carlton right next door. This beautiful resort is just begging you to come visit. JW Marriott is considered to be a luxury brand by Marriott, obviously as it sounds. This is gonna be a full service hotel. It has um, a low key water park, beautiful rooms. It's more secluded. It's away from the hustle and bustle of I-95. So I chose this hotel, but we're gonna compare it on a bunch of different platforms because the big part of this series is I wanna show you guys that you cannot rely on just one source if you are a price sensitive traveler. So the first one that I wanna tackle is American Express Travel. You guys know I'm a big Amex Platinum fan. So I'll always dip into there and look at hotel rates. So this is what we have here. Now, this is a little high, I'm gonna tell you because I've seen the other prices, but some of the things you need to weigh out when you're looking at a credit card source is there is five times the rewards on here. So if you're trying to build up some Amex points, that might help if the price isn't that much more on American Express. Sometimes I will lean for something like this. It's also part of their fine hotels and resorts collection, which means that you do get $100 food and beverage credit added onto your bill. Next up, we're gonna head to Expedia right here. So Expedia is 226. Uh, bear that in mind. The thing is when you book with Expedia, you're not gonna be able to get your Marriott rewards. That's the same with Amex as well because you're getting the Amex benefit, not the Marriott. You only get the Marriott rewards when you book directly. So keep that in mind. And compared to Kayak, we're gonna look at Kayak right here. The lowest price on Kayak was $227. So about the same as Expedia, but same things go. Now the one thing that I have to tell you that Kayak does not do when they're pulling the pricing from the website is they do not look at promotions. And I'm gonna show you what I mean here in just a moment. The other option that I'm going to pull as well is this travel agent pricing. My best friend who's a travel agent, Mr. Jason Poole, his info's down below if you ever wanna reach out to him. He sent me pricing for this hotel from his travel agent portals. Now keep in mind, travel agents have access to a bunch of different programs that the public does not. So it's always worthwhile to have a travel agent. Honestly, they're really underutilized. So lastly, I'm gonna pull up the Marriott website. You'll see that the standard rates on the one side are 301, but there is a special rate. They have a special rate on their website for 217 for extended stay. Some hotels will make discounts for reservations that are three, four, seven, 14 plus nights out, and they will automatically populate on the website. 
However, these kind of promotions don't show on websites like Kayak if you're thinking you're using that to compare all the best rates. It always helps to dig into a Hotels Direct website because there are promotions that are not listed. I'm actually gonna link to my TikTok account down below as well because I did this huge kind of price comparison for a Lowe's property in Santa Monica where there was a special promotion that actually didn't show when you went to check out as an option, but when you went to their promotions page, you saw that they had a stay three night, get a fourth free promo. So it is always worthwhile to check the hotel's direct website and make sure you also look for a promotions tab. And don't forget that you can also call the hotel directly to see if they're running any promotions as well. So the winner for this experiment was the Hotel Direct website. You could do a full week at $1,500 and still have $1,500 to spend on food, beverage, spa treatments, whatever your heart desires. That is a good chunk of change for a week long vacation and to stay at a luxury property. There is a little tip that I wanna give you guys though. So when you book with a travel agent, even when you ask for a specific hotel, also ask them to check promos for that area because some hotels will give travel agent portals a special promotion and incentive to get them to book. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples right here that my best friend was able to come up with that was not this resort, but it's just food for thought. If you would like to be featured and have a question on an upcoming trip that you'd like me to cover next week, please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and if you have any best practice tips, I will be back here next Friday with this and on Monday for tips. I'll see you guys later. Bye.